What's up, y'all? It's Tuesday morning about 10.30, and I'm headed out here to check out what's going on with the ammo today. I expect it's going to be looking pretty slim up in the Rural King today with all the specials they've had going throughout the last week or so, but maybe they'll have something new in that they didn't have last time we was here. It's really not a huge deal either way because I'm definitely going to be hitting my local shop and seeing what kind of 20 gauge they have to run with that new tool I picked up last week. But let's run in here to the RK first and see what they got going on today. All right, y'all, inside the Rural King, looking about the same. Several different kinds of 308 here. $26.99 on that 308 whitetail there. Shot shells looking pretty slim. All of us looking pretty slim in here after all those deals for a week. 45, a little 30 super carry. Looks like the 380 took a big hit for sure. Same deal with the 40. It's looking almost exactly the same. All right, y'all, about what I figured in the Rural King. Pretty limited selection in there right now. So I'm gonna run up here to the local shop and see what they got in the way of 20 gauge and what else they might have interesting. And then we'll head to the house and I'll show y'all what I ended up with. All right, y'all, local shop time. I'll go a little bit slower in case y'all hadn't seen. If you see anything that you might want me to test, holler. This is nine mil, pretty much all kind of hollow points. They got about anything you're looking for. 40 here, some 10. I think I've tested most of this 10 except this Swift A-frame, which is super expensive. They're big bore stuff, 357.6, 500 Smith, 460 Smith. 454 Casul, several different 40s here. I don't know if I've done the Golden Saber yet. A couple different Underwood nine loads, the 124, the 147s. And they got this Syntec range nine. I don't think they have the Syntec hollow point. So a couple 44 mags there, the 200 XTP. Still got a big stack of 41 mag here. A couple different 45 Colts. I'll probably grab this box of this XTP uh, Underwood loaded 45 Colt. Blazer 9 for 1359. Got some 357 mag here, the Ultimate Defense hey, uh, stuff, HTP, hey, different 380s, sound. FTX 380. I think I've tested most of these 380s. 32 Auto, 38 Special. Still got a bunch of powder here. Pretty much all that same powder. Little gun, long shot, CFE, 335, tight group. Pretty much any kind of powder you're actually looking for right now. 110. Primer is still a different story though. They got some small rifle and some Magnum small rifle, but that's all on the primers. 22, bunch of different 22 LRs. 22 mag looks like about 21 bucks 16 bucks on the maxi mag so that's a good price on maxi mag 20 bucks for the gold dot some dyna points up here for 13.99 i don't believe i have any of those i might grab some of those some 17 hmr more 22 velocitors punch a little bit of everything bulk 22 down here as you can see Plenty of 5.56, 223. They got X Pack, Frontier, tons of hunting rounds as always. 204, some 300, bunch of different 308, 6 mil Creedmoor, a couple different 6.5 Creedmoors down here. 350 Legend, 35 Whaling, bunch of different types of 223, 22, 250, 30 aught 6, several different kinds of that, more 308. 6.5 Grendel, 6.5 SPC. They actually got some 6.8 Western down here too, Copper Impact, 56.99 on that. I don't think I've seen that 6.8 Western in here before. Some 25 alt 6, a little bit of 243, looks like some VMAX 243. A couple different 300 Wind Mags, some 450 Bushmaster, a little bit of 50 BMG, and some 7 millimeter mag bunch of shot shells look here you game got 410 three inch 410 triple alt buck there for 24.99 that ultimate defense a couple other types of 20 gauge slugs here some true ball federal premium seven bucks and some power shot for six dollars and some change plenty of 20 gauge target load here lots of 12 28 some long beard turkey loads some 10 gauge some number three buck here two and three quarter winchester for 10 bucks but as usual a little bit of everything 
All right, y'all, we're back at the house again. Ended up with a decent little variety of stuff to show y'all, but before I jump right into it, if you would, like I always ask you, if you do enjoy these videos, take a second and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click that bell notification icon so hopefully you can get notified when I upload new videos. So everything I got this week came from my local shop. Now, I did pick up some of that PMC stuff that they've had on sale uh, that I talked to y'all about the last couple of weeks. I ain't gonna go through that because it's just mostly FMJ, some of the soft point 357 mag that y'all have already seen basically just that pmc stuff that i mentioned last week but i did pick up a few things other than that one of them was a box of this ppu soft point round those 762 by 39 now y'all know i got two boxes of this a couple few weeks ago uh, and i've actually tested this and by me buying another box of this should give y'all a spoiler alert that it was worth buying another box of so even at 17.99 it was definitely worth going in there and me getting another box of this so i picked up one more box of that they also had some of this Underwood 45 Colt, as y'all saw, 250 grain XTP boxes saying 960 feet per second, uh, $25.99 for 20 rounds. So that's not bad for good 45 Colt XTP projectile, nickel plated cases and all that jazz. So you got to get some more good 45 Colt to test. So I figured this ought to be some good stuff. So I got one box of that at $25.99. And then the next thing I got was some more stuff I wanted to do some testing with. It's this Winchester Silver Tip in 300 Black out 150 grain with the defensive silver tip uh i've tested this stuff in several other different calibers now this isn't nickel plated like it's supposed to be because you know they blame supply shortages so <laughs> it is what it is but should still be a good pretty good round it should be some good testing this stuff was definitely not cheap it was 35 bucks a box so i only got two boxes of it for now until we see how good or not good it is and then next up was something else i was glad to see in there y'all know how hard it is to find any kind of 410 right now and they just happen to get in some of this remington ultimate defense three inch 410 with the uh, five pellets of triple alt book so some pretty good stuff here there's 15 rounds in this box like i say three inch uh this was also not cheap at all it was 24.99 for 15 rounds now granted it is three inch but still it's you know it shouldn't be that kind of price for 410 but these days that's what it is unfortunately so i got four boxes of that and then next up i got a few different types of 20 gauge rounds y'all know i mentioned i think it was last week about picking up that 20 gauge at the pawn shop i hadn't mentioned what it was yet but i don't have any 20 gauge until that target load i picked up last week so i need to start picking some up so i got a little variety here so none of this was really cheap or anything i would call a great deal first thing i got was this winchester defender buckshot it's number three buck 20 pellets of number three buck two and three quarter this was 18.99 i believe there's 10 rounds in here yeah 10 rounds rounds in here so as you can see there nothing real fancy just some standard high brass uh, number three 20 gauge book i just got one box of this like i say i don't have any so i want to get a little variety of stuff to do some testing with and then next up was kind of the same thing it's number three book 20 pellet again but this is just a winchester super x it's still two and three quarter but interestingly enough this one says 1200 velocity this defender says 1145 so uh there was five rounds in here i believe this was 999 yeah 999 but basically the same pretty much the same thing and i would bet that the performance out of these is is pretty much identical so i just grabbed one box of these like i say just to have it for testing purposes and then staying with the 20 gauge steam we got some slugs here i got some two and three quarter federal power shock rifled slugs 1600 fps these are three quarter ounce slugs show you what they look like here nothing special just a regular old foster slug uh, i got four boxes of these these were six dollars and 19 cent per box so right Right now not terrible for 20 gauge slugs and then kind of the same but a little bit different we got some more 20 gauge slugs now these are also three quarter ounce two and three quarter length on them 1600 fps just like these federal power shocks but these are the federal true balls they've got that little ball right behind the slug in the cavity of the slug so i think i'm not sure if that's supposed to be for accuracy i think it's supposed to be for accuracy it may be for aiding an expansion i'm not exactly sure what the purpose of that is but should lead to some pretty interesting testing since everything else seems to be the same on those two except for that ball uh these were 6.99 so like 80 cent more per box than the regular power shocks 
And that was actually it for the week, y'all, other than that PPU stuff that was on sale that I picked up. I didn't want to drag that back out because it's the same stuff y'all have seen before. But let me know what y'all think about the pickups this week, what kind of testing you're looking forward to, and what kind of scores you might have made in y'all's area. While you're doing your shopping, make sure to check out those affiliate links in the video description. You can save some big money using some of those links, and anything you buy using those, it really does help out the channel. As always, I appreciate all my Range Gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel. I got a bunch of really good stuff coming y'all's way, so be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.